We cannot remove glare from glasses in Photoshop. It is just not possible. I know this is not an answer you would be expecting, but that's the truth. Can I be practical with you? You know, unless you have details to work with, it is just not possible. The best way to fix glare from glasses is while you're photographing the subject. And the way to do it is this. First, photograph the subject with the glasses like this. All right. Then ask your subject to be still at the same position and take off the glasses. You can ask your assistant to do it and take another photo. And then you can stack both of those photos together and mask out the glare. Make sense? But what about those situations where you have already taken the photo and there is this glare in the glass? Well, that's what this video is all about. If you have some details, if just some details, maybe the glare is a little transparent, you have some details to work with, we can remove the glare from the glass. If it is completely covered, if the eyes are covered, I'm sorry, there's nothing much we can do unless you have another photo of the subject. So let's get straight to it and let's learn how to fix glare from glasses if you have details to work with. This video is sponsored by Wacom and I've been using a Wacom tablet for the past three years now. And the Intuos Pro lineup has always been my favorite. The grip that you get from it is out of this world. By the way, this is the Intuos Pro Medium that I've been using lately. And as you can tell from the scratches and the dents that this is pretty old and I've dropped it more than a dozen times. And this has traveled across the globe so many times and shows you how rugged these things actually are. Now, I would highly recommend getting one because in this tutorial, we're going to be doing a lot of dodging and burning and the kind of precision and speed that we need, it's going to be very hard to achieve that with a mouse, if not impossible. With a Wacom tablet, you have an entire surface to work with to act like a canvas and the ergonomics of holding a pen. This gives you the leverage, so much leverage over using a mouse. So if you are interested in getting one and see the model that I recommend, check the link in the description. Back in the magical world of Photoshop and if you want to go ahead and download this photo and follow along, you already know what to do. Check the links in the description. So the first step is fixing the brightness. And the way to do it is, you already know one of my favorite tools, curves. But before we remove or correct the brightness caused by this flare or lens glare, or whatever you want to call it, we need to make sure that we take away the colors momentarily so that the colors don't distract us. And to do that, click on the adjustment layer icon and then choose solid color. Choose any color with zero saturation, any shade of gray in other words. Hit OK and then change the blend mode from normal to color. By the way, this is a luminosity check layer. If you want to know more about it, check out this video. The next thing we do, we go back to the background layer and on top of that, we create a curves adjustment layer. Click on the adjustment layer icon and then choose curves. All right. Create a point in the middle and just take it down. Something like this. Take it extra down so that all of the bright areas are coming to normal. All right. So this seems to be a good point. Now let's collapse that. Select the mask and then press Ctrl or Command I to invert it. Right now the mask was white. We pressed Ctrl or Command I. Now all of it is black. So it's not showing anywhere. It will only show up on areas where we paint white. Now we can name this burning because burning means darkening. All right. Let's take the brush. We're going to take a soft round brush. You can set the flow to about 4% or less and start painting. Now, some of you might be thinking this might take a lot of time, but it actually doesn't. If you have a practice, if you're working with a tablet, it's not going to take a hell lot of time. So let's zoom in. Let me show you. As I talk, I'm going to work into this. All right. So let's do the hard one. Let's do this eye. All right. So let's paint with white and we're going to do it really fast. It's not time taking. See how fast this is? Now, I think the flow is kind of too high. So we're going to go with 3%. And as we talk, we're going to do it. Now, you can take all the time in the world to do it in a pace that gives you the better quality. But right now, it works. See, it doesn't take much time. Now, don't you worry about the edges. We're going to just use the cleaning up tools like the healing tool or the clone tool to kind of clean that up. But all we have to do right now is to match the brightness. That's pretty much what we need to focus on. Now I'm doing this pretty quickly, very quickly as I speak to you. You can take your time to do it. I just wanted to show you that this is not as time taking as a lot of people think. A lot of people think that dodging and burning takes a lot of time, but it totally depends upon your practice and your skill levels with it. The more you do, the faster you get. This can take, if you're fast, this can take two to three minutes to do both the eyes. And if you're new to this, it can take about 10 to 15 minutes or even more. 
depending upon your skill. And as you can see right now, it's pretty much done. It looks pretty good. And we can work even more if we want to. But at the moment, we can stop. All right. So let's take a look at the before and after. So here's the before. Here's the after. It's gone. Right now, you must be thinking there are some edges like this. We can actually easily fix that with the healing brush tool or the clone stamp tool later. Right now, that shouldn't be your concern. But the overall concern that it was a bright area is now fixed before, after, and so fast. I didn't even have to speed up the video. But for the next time, I'll just do it. I'll take my time and I'll do a better job. So there you go, this looks fantastic, doesn't it? Let's take a look at the before and after. So this is the before and this is the after. And by the way, this is just a basic burn. If you wanna refine your results even more, let's create one more layer and this is for both dodging and burning to clean things up, all right? Let's name this dodge and burn. And we're gonna use a very simple technique of dodging and burning, which we already talked and debated a lot about in this video. And that is simply creating a blank empty layer and then changing the blend mode to soft light and just painting with white and black. That's pretty much it. And using this dodge and burn, you're just gonna clean stuff here and there. If something is looking uneven, we're gonna just clean that up. So with the brush selected, flow at one or 2%. We're gonna paint with black in the areas that we wanna darken and paint with white in the areas that we wanna brighten. So let's say you see something uneven right here. So you paint that area in white and make it even something like this. You see the difference? No? Let me zoom in even more. Here's the before, here's the after. See how we made that even? So you can take as much time as you want with this. Now I wanted to share with you something before we proceed. When I was new to this, I absolutely lost my patience because I just couldn't do it. But trust me, all we have to do is to give it some time and give it some practice. So let's continue. Now this looks nice. Let's take a look at the before and after. So this is the before and this is the after. Look how much cleaned this looks right now. Let's work on the other eye. All you need to do is, if you see an abrupt bright area, darken it. If you see an abrupt dark area, brighten it. Just even things out. The more you work on it, the better it's gonna get. Let's take a look at the complete before and after. I think it looks pretty good to proceed. Here's the before and here's the after. Looks so much cleaner, doesn't it? Now, with the glare, complete glare, without the glare. But we are not done yet. There's one very crucial thing left. Actually two. So moving on to step number two and that is matching the color. If you take away the luminosity check layer or simply turn it off, see the colors are not matching at all. If we turn it on when you take away the colors, the brightness levels are perfectly fine, but the colors just don't look right. And to easily fix that, create a brand new layer and just name this color, all right? Now you can delete the luminosity check if you want to or keep it turned off. I'm gonna keep it turned off. Choose the color layer, take the brush, get the flow to about five to 10%. We're gonna first set it to 5%, all right? Now, before you start painting with the brush, make sure you check the eyedropper tool and make sure the sample is current and below and the sample size is three by three or five by five or more, all right? Now let's take the brush and change the blend mode of the color layer to guess what? Color. So choose color so that it only affects the color. Next, just we zoom in and we take a sample by holding the Alt key or the Option key. It changes to the eyedropper tool, take a sample and start painting on areas where the colors just don't look right. If the flow is at 100%, it might look strange, right? So we need to gradually paint over it. And that's why we keep it at 5% because not all areas need complete color replacement, right? Some areas or most areas just need it partially. So that's why 5%. We take a sample and we paint. Let's increase the flow to about 10% because I think these areas need more color. Now the colors are fixed. Let's take a look. Here's the before. The colors are just not right. Patches here and there. 
and here's the after we evened it out but still the eyes just don't look right so we can try using the curves again so click on the adjustment layer icon and then choose curves and just focus on the eyes for now and we will try to first make it a little darker okay just a little darker and then let's choose blue now we know yellow is the opposite of blue so if we increase blue the yellows will reduce so let's try increasing the blues so that the eyes look normal okay now there's a lot of magenta that shows up so let's go to green and increase the green as well because green is the opposite of magenta all right this looks pretty all right let's go back to the blue and adjust it even more all right now we only wanted it for the eyes so select the mask press ctrl or command i to invert it then take the brush white as the foreground color and flow at 100 would be fine no problem and just paint on the eyes it should be fine there you go it's much better now look see it's fixed there's a little bit of yellow reflection on the eye and that's because of the probably the sunlight and if you want to correct it you can create one more curse adjustment layer make it even darker and this is just for the eyeballs and then go to the blues and just increase the blues a lot select the mask press ctrl or command i and then simply paint on the eyeball i think it's kind of too much so we can of course decrease the opacity if you want to so by the way let's decrease the flow to about 10 percent and then just paint on a couple more areas if you want to yeah it looks pretty good so let's collapse this let's take a look at the complete before and after so this is the before and this is the after look how much better it looks right now now one thing we need to fix still there are these edges that just don't look right so how do we fix that and that is step number three cleaning up the edges to clean up the edges create a brand new layer at the very top and let's name this clean up you can choose your favorite tool but i'm going to go ahead and choose the healing brush tool you can also try the spot healing brush tool or the patch tool whatever is your favorite now keep in mind patch tool doesn't work on an empty layer so we'd have to just create a stamp visible layer for it but i'm going to use the healing brush tool for some areas you might also need the clone stamp tool so make sure that the sample is current and below source sampled blend mode normal hold the alt key or the option key click to take a sample and just fill this edge area and it should be fixed there you go my friend gone similarly let's work on the other edges i think this eye is done but there's this area that looks dark and i cannot fix it with the clone stamp so to fix that let's create a simple dodge and burn layer at the top and we're gonna take the brush foreground and background to white and black and just paint this area with white change the blend mode to soft light and the flow to about two percent and we're gonna try to remove this just a minor thing here and there sometimes you might need to create dodging and burning layers to fix simple things like this okay here's the before here's the after see that is gone so easily let's get to this one and get back to the cleaning up clean up layer and for that we're going to get back to the regular healing brush tool not the spot one the regular one let's fix all of this now when it comes to edge it's very important that we align the edge so for example there's this line going on from the top of the spectacle right so we're going to hold alt or option click to take a sample and a preview is going to show up make sure you match these lines and then start painting all right if you don't see the preview let's go to window and then clone source just make sure the show overlay is checked that way you will see the preview if you don't want to see the preview keep it unchecked All right, the color just doesn't look right. So let's go back to the color layer and we're gonna take the brush, take a sample by holding the Alt key or the Option key, click to take a sample, flow at about 6% and let's paint over this area. Just looks a little odd. All right, so much better now. I think it's because of the cleanup that it looks strange. So on top of that, we need to create one more color layer because we were trying to paint the color on it, but it just didn't show up because there's the cleanup layer on top of it. So let's create one more color at the very top and take a sample. Make sure the blend mode is color. Change the flow to about five to 6%. Just paint over it. Now it looks fixed. See, that area was a little discolored anyway and have a look at our final image this looks pretty good doesn't it now we need to fix the color here and there and we might need to do a little bit more dodging and burning 
But let's take a look. Here is the before and here is the after. Looks so good, doesn't it? I think we overdid a little bit right here and just removed all the wrinkles and it looks unnatural right now. So we can easily bring it back. That's not an issue. So let's start from very beginning. This was the first layer. On top of that, we removed the glare. We did some dodging and burning. And inside of that, I think I removed a little too much. So we can go to the dodge and burn and we can simply erase some areas from here. If you want to. We improved the color and we did some curves. We did another curves. We did the cleanup and in the cleanup, I think we fixed a lot more than we should have. So let's create a mask and simply erase the areas with the brush paint in black in the areas that we didn't want to completely erase. And paint with white in the areas over the edges. There you go. Then dodging and burning on top of that one more color. And there you have it. It looks a little better right now. So let's take a look. Here's the before. Here's the after. The glare is gone. And if you want a little bit of the glare, well, it's going to be pretty simple. Select the layer just on top of the background. Hold the shift key. Select the topmost layer and then press Ctrl or Command G to group it all. If you decrease the opacity, you will have a little bit of the glare. This will make it look a little more natural. So there you go, my friend. That's how you completely remove glare from glasses in Photoshop. If you have details to work with in this image, let's take a look at the before. We already had some details to work with even inside of glare so that we could darken it and bring the details back. If that is absolutely covered, there's nothing much we can do. Of course, other than taking off the glass, taking another photo and then replacing those areas or using extensively the clone stamp tool to kind of cover that area using the other areas of the skin. Let's do a quick little recap. Step number one, match the brightness. You can easily do it with curves. You can also do it with a dodge and burn layer. Step number two is match the color. Once you match the brightness, the colors will be here and there and there will be patches of different colors because of the glare. You might see lots of green color, red colors. To fix that, just create a blank layer at the very top, change the blend mode to color, take a sample from the surrounding areas where the colors are right and just paint over it. The color would be fine. Make sure the flow is low, five to 10% would be fine. And the last step is cleaning up the edges. And you can do it with one of your favorite tools like the clone stamp tool, the healing brush tool, the spot healing brush tool. You can try different tools. Now do keep in mind that as you proceed in these three steps, sometimes after doing step number two, you might want to go back to step number one. Maybe sometimes after doing step number three, you might want to go back to step number two. And for that, you can create layers on top. And we did demonstrate it in this example as well. I hope this video helped you. And if it did, make sure to give us a like. And also don't forget to subscribe and not just subscribe. Ring the bell so that you, my friend, don't miss any other future tips, tricks or tutorials. I would like to take this moment to thank all these nice and amazing people for supporting this channel on Patreon and helping keep Pix Imperfect free for everybody forever. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys again in my next one. Till then, stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating.